Hey what's up everybody, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to get a true silent mode on Lollipop devices. Now when it comes to Lollipop, the complaint I hear more than any other is the fact that the addition of priority mode has killed off the regular silent mode for incoming notifications. You can set your phone to vibrate, but that's not silent at all. And priority mode on the other hand doesn't notify you of all incoming messages, and it silences your alarm as well. Well the development team at Great Byte Software has created an app that will fix all of these issues. Not only will this finally enable a true silent mode, but it will also give you an expandable volume panel with native Lollipop heads up functionality. The app is called Sound HUD, with HUD meaning heads up display, and you can download a free 14 day trial version from the Google Play Store. So search it by name to get it installed, then we'll check out the setup process. Now right off the bat, the app will ask you to enable its accessibility plugin. So tap open settings on this menu, then on the next screen, select the Sound HUD entry. From here, toggle the switch at the top of the screen to on, then press OK on the pop-up. After that, hit your back button a couple of times to head back to the app. From here, hit up the customized volume panel entry to tweak the look and feel a little bit. If you check out the styles section, you'll see the different themes that you can choose for your volume panel. By default, it's set to expandable, which is the lollipop heads up style. There are a couple of other options that you can choose from if you'd like, but I'm going to leave it set as is. Beyond that, you can also use this menu to customize the timeout and color options. From here, the audio and media category gives you a few unique options. You can set this up to launch an app when you long press the volume up or down buttons, and that's a nice added bonus. Then you can even mute the volume adjustment sound or lock volume controls to one playback type. Back out to the main menu and under advanced, you'll find another great option. You can actually blacklist apps so that the volume panel won't come up when you hit the volume buttons. This will come in handy if you use your volume buttons as a shutter button in your camera app, for instance. But with everything set up, let's check out the volume panel itself, right? Now it looks exactly like stock, with the exception of this down arrow, which expands the volume panel to show other volume sliders. And just like stock, when you press the volume down button until it hits that last increment, the phone will be put into vibrate mode. But when you press it again at that point, it actually goes into silent mode. So this is definitely an awesome app that fixes issues with 5.0 while still keeping that signature lollipop look. And after your 14 day free trial, I'm sure it'll be an easy decision on whether or not to purchase the full version for $1.49. But for more tips and tricks like this, be sure to check out my article at the link in the description below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking!